Got him. <laughs> hey, yo, today I'm going to act it to Bruce Stu. Worst work day ever. If y'all know, subscribe. Happy boys 30k. Appreciate y'all for 21. Smash the like button. Comment down below. Try to see next. Listen here. Worst work day ever. We're going to find out how bad it was for the homie, right? All right. Now everybody knows that, uh, well, working for a living blows. And it especially blows when you have a bad day at work. Now, what do I know about bad days at work? After all, I'm a full-time YouTuber, for Christ's sake. A bad day of mm. work for me consists of, like, me not being able to say the word all right with the correct inflection. All right. No, that's not right. <clears throat> all right? No, 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 that's not it either. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. I've worked real jobs before. Hell, my first job was being a cook at a pizza place. You really think that was a rootin' tootin' time? Sweating your no. ass off, making stuffed crust pizzas for drunk people? Pizza slut welcomes you. <laughs> All night long? Yeah, I think I had my fair share of bad days at work, to say the least. But the absolute worst work day that I had was ironically on my day off. And it wasn't just any day off. It was a Friday of all days. And Fridays are the busiest day. Craig? From Friday, how you get fighting your day off, huh? That is. Days of the week for pizza places because Fridays produce the most drunk people out of any day of the week. So I was yep. pretty happy to have that day <laughs> off. But there was a slight catch. The day before, my boss was like, Hey, I know it's your day off tomorrow and it's Friday, but uh, we're running a new promotion. And if we get too busy, I'm going to have to call you and you're going to have to come in. Well, 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 look at me. The person to call if there's a pizza emergency. That's right, I'm going to be on call. Like I'm a fucking... Nah, bro. That, that, like, I don't understand. Like, just book him. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you know it's going to be busy tomorrow? It's Friday. You know Friday's weekends are busy. Put the people on schedule, bro. Oh, yeah, I know it's your day off, but we're going to call you anyways if we need you. Like, if motherfuckers don't have their own lives and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, businesses make no fucking sense sometimes when it comes to scheduling people. You know what I'm saying? Look at me. The person to call if there's a pizza emergency. That's right, I'm gonna be on call. Like I'm a fucking emergency room doctor. Right. What's that? Somebody needs an emergency baboon heart transplant? I'm on my baboon. way. What's that? Somebody ordered a fuck ton of pepperoni pizzones? I'm on my way. So I'm out enjoying my Friday night at a, uh, well, it's a fucking Wendy's, Wendy's because I'm broke as hell. And of course it doesn't take long before I get that phone call. Uh, yeah, hey, it's me, your pizza boss. Uh, everybody and their dad decided to call off today. Oh, you're t see? See, and you just you just never know about callouts, bro. So put the fucking people on schedule. You know what I'm saying? Hell nah. Hey, and I'm gonna need you to come in because it's the goddamn pizza apocalypse. That's now this tough. Wendy's that I was at just so happened to be across the street from the pizza place. So ah. I'm like the world's shittiest superhero. I run out of the Wendy's like the fucking building's on fire. I don't even bother to grab my bike that's chained up. I just run across the street like a psychopath. Nah. And burst onto the scene like dark winged duck. My boss is like, ah, oh, thank God you're here. This new promo is really slamming our dicks in a car door. So I get in the kitchen and the only cook that's there. And you you know about the promo. You know what I'm saying? You know about it. Besides me, is this kid named Debbie. That's not his real name, of course. I just call him Debbie because he makes pizzas like a slut. And Debbie is the uh -huh. sluttiest name I could think of. So there we are, me and Debbie, the Laverne and Shirley of pizza making. Debbie I don't even slut. put on an apron. <laughs> I'm in street clothes and shit. People that register are looking in the back like, what the hell? Did they just pull a crackhead off the street to start making pizzas? <laughs> it doesn't matter because it's absolute pandemonium at this pizza place. I don't know what the hell kind of deal we were running back then, but it was like, buy a medium one topping and get a fucking bag of methamphetamine for free <laughs> something like that i don't know we got the phones ringing off the hook the nah. ticket machine spewing out orders like it's possessed by the devil and it's Fuck so damn hot pizza. in this kitchen that it feels like you're fucking working next to the mean ass son from mario 3 and shit meanwhile our boss is nowhere to be found because he's too busy fucking texting people in the yeah in the back or in his office chilling let's let's everybody do the slave work but the head honcho the fucking place can't man fuck out of here bro Chase self-employment, ladies and gentlemen. Entrepreneurship. Do your own shit. Fuck it. Fuck everybody else's schedule. Make your own schedule. You know what I'm saying? Come on. The bathroom. You got Debbie's ass freaking out trying to man the ovens. He's got a look of sheer panic on his face. Not to mention <sighs> dumbass orders are coming in left and right from the counter. Uh, do you guys think you could stuff the crust with a hot dog instead of cheese? Hot I need a pizza that's fuck? topped with, uh, you guys got pickles? I'll take pickles and, I don't know, uh, how about a bag of Monopoly tokens? Uh, yeah, can you guys spell <laughs> out, sorry I beat up your mom's new boyfriend with the pepperonis? Well, with all these orders <laughs> coming in, it doesn't take Debbie very long to start to screw up. All of a sudden, pizza starts uh. falling off the oven all willy-nilly. Oh. I'm sorry! I don't know what I'm doing! Oh god, there's so much pizza! So now I start doing the job of three people while Debbie sits on a fucking stool because he's more harm than good at this point. All that. All that for what? Seven, seven dollars an hour? 
eight alarm man boy come on bro i start doing the job of three people while debbie sits on a fucking stool because he's more harm than good at this point i'm making all the pizzas i'm taking them out of the ovens Hell, i'm even taking orders over the phone when i have to uh you want a pizza with just mushrooms on it what kind of sick pervert only wants just mushrooms and this shit goes on for hours and hours i have no idea how many orders we did that day but i can tell you that fucking pizza place should have erected a 12 foot statue of my ass out front yeah, the right. endeavors that i went through <laughs> right now, things don't finally start to die down <laughs> <Are> you... <laughs> I'll put statue of my ass out front for the endeavors that I went through. Hell, they're gonna fuck it back. Don't finally start to die down until it's damn near closing time. And before we can go home, we gotta scrub the whole kitchen down and make it all sparkly clean. Well, of course, as soon as we get done scrubbing the shit out of everything, our boss comes in like, Hey, uh, some lady just called and she said you burnt the shit out of her pizza. Can you remake it real quick? So now we gotta re-dirty the goddamn kitchen for one stupid ass pizza, which I think is bullshit to begin with because I don't burn pizzas. Hell, I make the prettiest pizzas this side of the Mississippi. Whoever this lady he is is a bullshitter and she's just trying to get a free pizza well imagine yep. my surprise when my boss walks in again and he's like hey that same lady just called she said it was supposed to be a pepperoni pizza you put a bunch of nasty mushrooms on it instead and i'm like wait a goddamn minute i remember that lady i took her order i distinctly remember her ordering just mushrooms because exactly. again what kind of fucking she finessing pizzas that bitch <laughs> Fucker. Pervert orders just mushrooms. Uh, yeah, Mr. Pizza Boss, with all due respect, that lady is a fucking lion scorpion woman. Look, can you just remake it? I want to get out of here. If you need me, I'll be in the bathroom. <laughs> so there we go. want to get out of there. You've been chilling all fucking day. <laughs> oh, making this lady's third pizza, two oh, minutes bro. close. And I'm not going to lie, I was tempted to lick every single one of those goddamn pepperonis like a fucking <laughs> postage stamp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, relax. I didn't do it. I'd never mess with somebody's food, no matter how badly they deserve it. So yeah, we get this nah. lady's pizza done. And shout out to the people who don't. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're you're a dirty ass fuck ass motherfucker, boy. To be fucking with people's food, hell no. Finally, we get a chance to close up. Me and Debbie are sitting. That's yo. That's fighting words. Because that's fighting actions. You gonna spit on my food? You gonna lick my shit? Boy, I'm fighting you. Fuck is you talking about? Outside, looking like we just fucking stormed the beaches of Normandy. <laughs> All of a sudden, out in the parking lot, we see a guy on a bike pull up, and then another His guy bike. in a pickup truck pulls up right behind him. And it's pretty dark out, so His it's hard bike. to make out what's going on or who's out there. But we see these two guys load up the bike in the back, oh. and then they take off. Your bike. Huh. Well, that was weird. I wonder what that was all about. Well, it wasn't until I went back to Wendy's to pick up my 10 speed that I found out that I didn't have a fucking 10 speed anymore. Tough. And at first, it didn't even register what the hell happened. I was standing there for like 15 seconds, like. <laughs> Yo, he was calculating everything. I'm a dumbass. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> Damn it! I just watched my own bike get stolen. So after that, I walked the fuck home, and that's the conclusion of my worst workday ever. Actually, Bruh. it doesn't quite end there. Remember the mushroom slash pepperoni pizza lady that lied her ass off? Well, before I left work, I took her order ticket because it had her phone number on it. And when I got home late at night, I called her on the old telephone. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Why did you lie to me? What? Who is this? You lied. I know you lied. Just know that I may or may not have licked all the pepperonis. <laughs> <laughs> fucking savage nah that's funny as shit boy he didn't do it but it's like it's just a simple fact now you got her thinking going crazy like oh my god oh i'm about to throw up and shit bro Stu's grandchildren are never gonna be bored of his stories right bro i worked for a pizza place for three years everything in the video is so goddamn true from the line customers to the possessed ticket machine <sighs> man i'm so glad i never worked fast food or any restaurant because I, I couldn't bro I couldn't. 523 to 539 was comedic genius. Good work on this video. <laughs> this man had to process his bike getting stolen right in his face. That's crazy, bro. He did have a long day, though. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going to take a little bit of process. <sighs> hey, like he said, everybody has bad days at work. You feel me? Um, But, hey, chase self-employment, bro. Chase entrepreneurship. Make your own schedule. You know what I'm saying? These bosses don't give a fuck about nobody, bro. No one. Yo, that's my reaction. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.